Greetings Autobots and welcome back to Autobot ASMR's Transformers Reviews. Continuing my content grind for this week, I thought I'd take a look at a figure I've had for quite a while but never got around to filming. Not because I dislike the figure, far from it, I actually think this guy's pretty neat. But this is the Transformers Energon Ironhide. Now, Energon is a show that I have not watched much of. But I know why people despise it. They don't like the writing of the human characters, as well as the choppy, somewhat off-putting animation. If you hear moaning or groaning, that's just Toby. He's he's sleeping behind me on my on my seat. <laughs> he's a wee, he's not been feeling well today. But it is what it is. So Ironhide is how would I even describe this kind of vehicle? It's like an SUV or an armoured satellite vehicle or armoured artillery vehicle. Not sure how I would describe it because it has the proportions of something like an SUV or a search and rescue vehicle with the front lights picked out in blue and the little grill at the front. But then you've got this weird sort of radar missile artillery emplacement at the top which has a few lights and signs, but the batteries are dead, so apologies if there's no pew 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 or bang bang bang. But yeah, I like the look of this vehicle mode, even though I can't make heads or tails of what it's supposed to be. It's got some nice details, you got some nice white to separate the fenders and some blue all across the vehicle. You've got a little Autobot symbol there picked out in a bronze orange. Nice headlights there picked out in gold. It's just a big chunky vehicle mode. That's the thing I love the most about the Transformers and the Unicron trilogy. They were big, simple, and chunky, but just endlessly fun to flip back and forth because of it. Now, Ironhide, like his other Energon figures, has the gimmick to split apart and transform into combined modes. But as I do not have the instructions downloaded at the moment, I will save that for a later video whenever I get his partner Autobot. I think it was... It's either Mar it was either Prowl or Cliff Jumper. I I'm not too sure, but I remember seeing in the show there was a clip of them combining, but we'll just do the regular back and forth to robot and vehicle. So if you guys want to see the combined modes, we'll get around to it. Like I promise you that we will get around to it sometime. But right now we're just gonna stick down to the basics back and forth to robot mode. And I actually just noticed they're all molded in seats. It's not often you see that in older Transformers. That's molded in seats. I think there's even... Yeah, it seems they have a steering wheel molded in the front too. It's a pretty cool attention to detail. But I've talked about the vehicle mode long enough. I think it's pretty cool. So let's get stuck into the transformation. So first what you're going to want to do is just take these panels, lift them up, take the legs, Bring them down on these ratchet joints. Flip the front headlights up, that will become the toes. And then flip the ball bar and this will become the heels. Split the legs. So I can bring the camera up a bit because he's getting a bit tall. Come around to the back and just split the arms. And bring them around, rotate the forearms, and finally take this visor, lift it up, and there you have Energon Ironhide in his robot mode. Now, I've not, like I've said before, I've not watched much of Energon, so I don't really know much about this characterization of Ironhide, but design-wise, I think this is a pretty cool design. It's got its own flavour to it while being distinct for the character. And that's something I love about Transformers. We can always have different incarnations of the characters while they stick to the source material in some ways, but they differ in others. Like Ironhide, if I recall correctly in this show, he was more of a, a young hothead, kind of like Hotshot, but he was friends with the main human character, Kicker Jones, which many people absolutely despise because he's a bit of a prick in the show. But I've not seen much of it, so I can either confirm nor deny. 
but I like the pretty cool looking robot. He's got some really nice sculpting and detail all across the body of the figure. Especially, I'm loving the big red Autobot symbol smack dab in the center. The face sculpt's looking pretty show accurate too. A bit of a dire expression though. Given his characterization in the show, I think it would have had something maybe a bit more like a big smile. But, you can actually move this around as well. Now, I have the missile to go into this little blunderbuss looking launcher. And to launch it, you would just press back here and it would make firing sounds. This gun here, I think you can pull out. Oh, you can. And just pop it into... Hmm. Actually, no, that's far too small. Can't even fit. Unless... Nah, can't fit in this forearm either. Little gun, you are useless. Let's just pop you back where you belong. Right in there. Has a little button there that I think activates lights and sounds, but alas, we may never know. But yeah, the robot mode's really good. It looks the part and it's it's just fun. There's something about this big chunky robot aesthetic that I love about the Unicron trilogy, and Ironhide's no exception. Now, for posability wise, older figure, so we'll be a bit more lenient with our criticism, but we'll still point out issues if we see them. Arms you can do a full spread, though they kind of get impeded by these, though you can lift them up for a bit of extra movement. We've got full back and forth, no wrist swivel, nothing at the Nothing in the hand, or elbow swivel maybe. Legs are on ratchet joints, they can move up that far, up that far. And you can kick just about slightly over 90 degrees. Toes can move up and down. But, yeah, you can sort of cheat a pivot. If you wanted to, you could sort of cheat a pivot. But this is more so for transformation of the combined mode, so it doesn't really count. That kind of comes undone sometimes. Uh, let's see, anything at the waist? Nope, it's all one solid piece. So, posability is pretty below average, but then again, for these older toys, it's more so the gimmicks and just the fun factor that make these worth picking up. And if you like the show, or if you just want to collect older Transformers, yeah, I'd say definitely give this guy a shot. If you can find it for a reasonable price, nothing too, like, nothing scalper worthy, I'd say, yeah, give him a chance and pick him up. He'll fit in great with your Unicron Trilogy collection. Let's see. I also forgot to notice, or forgot to point out, he yeah, has a range of motion at the head, so we can turn just under 180 degrees. So, not too bad in the head space. Just, yeah, like a really nice looking figure. You know, it's it's faithful to the show model. It's simple but fun. And flipping it back and forth into robot and vehicle mode, it, it's just really fun. Cannot complain in the slightest. But let's get him transformed back into his vehicle mode. So I like to do the arms first. So just unpack them from the sides. Rotate so this little clear bit with the Autobot insignia is facing forward and then just bring the arms together like so take the will be the front of the truck tab it in flip in these little grill sections flip down the front headlights and it will sort of clip over the grill portion Bring this up the way and then bend the knees like so, so you can close these panels like so. Oh, and finally what you want to do is just flip that little head section down. Makes the world a difference, I know. <laughs> but there you have Ironhide, back in his vehicle mode. You guys enjoyed this video. I know it was probably a bit shorter than my usual output, but I wanted to do something that was a bit less arduous to film. It's just something simple I could put out there and see if you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you'll want to see more older figures like this or 
Maybe this could be a one-off. I don't know, but at the end of the day, I had fun making it. So if you guys want to see more, I'd be more than happy to oblige. Well, that about covers it for this video. This was the Transformers Energon Ironhide. And this is Autobot ASMR, signing off for the day. Autobots, transform and roll out to bed. Till all are one.